Good morning, guys. How's everything going? Today is Monday, August 15th, 2022. It's awesome outside. It was like 60 degrees last night, this morning. And now, I don't know, I think the high is going to be like 80 today. But anyway, I'm going to a no AC call. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. It just says no AC on the main floor. So we'll see what it is when we get there. Hope all is well. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I'm so happy you're here. How are you? How, so, what's going on? The, uh, the main level now? Uh, yes, just to look at the main one and just do a diagnostic on it. Is that the one we looked at the other day? Um, you started to. Oh, that was the. I thought that was the master. Okay, so that's the main level. Yeah, okay. and it's called down, It's written as downstairs. downstairs. Okay, great. Yeah. So, and the upstairs I, is working great. It is working so, well. Yeah, okay. May I come in just to check the inside of the main level? Uh, sure. Just because I just want to make sure the airflow is okay and then and then i'll be outside doing okay. everything else so this is a simple well i don't want to say simple there's a it's a no cooling call um i have airflow inside the filter checks good now we're going to go out and check the um the condenser so let me grab my gauges Okay, so we have a train here. It's labeled downstairs. Two thousand nine. Okay, it's blowing cold air. Let me connect my gauges. See what's going on with it. Compressor's not functional. There's pressure in it. It's a little cool out today, so we're at 194 standing. Um, but that's fine. So let me uh, open the compartment box and see what's going on in there. Looks like some hackery has gone on here. You got just kind of thrown in here. I mean, that's that's just. Come on, fella. Really? All right, let me check this capacitor. I don't find these go bad too often, but I don't know how old it is. So let me uh, let me check it right now with the meter. Capacitor's reading good. It's a 55. Um, however, there's like some wet, oily stuff here. Let me, uh, let me go through this. All right, guys, so I'm still getting nothing. I have, uh, I put a different capacitor on, even though the other one tested fine with a super boost, um, and nothing. So I'm going to open it up. I'm getting all my 120, get all my, from all my uh, compressor wires, but let me check the uh, resistance values and all that. I mean, come on, really? That's funny. Not funny, but... So, whoever worked here, what other company came here? Broke the cover, and then just put some mastic tape over it. So, let me check out these windings now. Those readings are perfect. 1.1, 1.5 equals 2.6. Uh, all my connections are tight. Um, I trace the wires to my contactor here. 
Um, let me see what else could be. So I'm getting my 120 to ground. 120 to ground. And then I get my 240 here. Looks like it's working now. So what I found was the common at the top of the contactor wasn't connected properly. Like the top, I, I don't know if the camera shows it, but it's very charred on the top of the contactor, so we gotta swap out this contactor because I was getting a bad con connection. So I'm gonna let it run. And then, uh, just to keep the compressor, make sure the compressor's functional the way it is. But here's my pressures now. And then obviously I'll, put all, I'll mount all that stuff together. But it looks like we got it for her. Still running 10 minutes later. Uh, I gotta go inside to the customer and discuss some prices with her about repair. Because I don't like this whole thing with the tape in between. He's got foam in between. I wanna clean this up the right way. It's up to her. If not, we won't be doing anything, but. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and change the contactor the capacitor and we're gonna throw the hard start kit in there um the top of that contactor is charred so it wasn't making any connection to the common however even though the capacitor was reading right it's in there all disgusting and also it was leaking at the beginning of the video i might have said that but i'm glad i found it because i thought even though my windings were reading right on my compressor i just thought it was just locked up but I'm glad I looked further. And uh, so basically we'll do it before and after with this install that was here already. I mean, this thing is shungad, it's disgusting. So we're gonna clean it all up, make it look nice. Really? Ridiculous, dude. Who does this, bro? I mean, not even in like a crunch, like if you were like busy one day, like I wouldn't, I still wouldn't do that. That's absolutely terrible. But we're gonna replace this here. We're gonna keep, mount this properly. But uh, like I said, this is still good. It's just all wet. Uh, I don't know, I'm changing it anyway. She wants it changed. She said, just get it done. So I mounted everything in. Boost, cap, contactor. Tightened all the connections very well. I'm just going to grab some zip ties here, clean it up a little, but uh, I'm going to go start it up. That's a beautiful thing, guys. You could even hear it nice. Okay, so we're going to let it run 15 minutes. I'm going to get my superheat sub cool. Um, I think my superheat on these systems are either 8 or 10. Let me just check. I mean, so cool. 10 degrees, so, so cool. So I'm gonna go my temperature probes and go from there. I just hooked them up now. So I'll let it run and we'll see what happens. And then we'll go take a temp split inside. But uh, TXV, we want 15 minutes of runtime. All right, guys, this guy is good. It's 10. 10, 11, it's been teetering, but 9 to 11 has been teetering back and forth. Yeah, there's 10, 10.1. Big fan of tight caps. Guys, that's a wrap. 
I'm gonna go inside. Oh, actually, let me go inside and check supply temp. Oh yeah, it feels great. It's already 64.4. Yeah. I mean, I have it turned down to 73, which is cold for us old people. <laughs> yeah, the temperature doesn't matter. I'm just I'm just checking what the yeah. what the system's putting out. Mm -hmm. But um what do you normally keep it at? Um well, 75, 77. Nice. 77 at night. So how long has it been working? Since last year or this year at all? Oh, I mean, it was just um, couple. in the last couple of weeks. Okay. So then it was fine at the beginning of the summer? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, it's going well. All right, y'all. Well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I think at the beginning of the call I said it's an easy call. Yeah, it's easy. It was an easy call, but... It took a little bit of testing and checking before I found the actual problem, which was the connection between the contactors and the capacitor. But even when I changed for testing, when I swapped out that capacitor at the beginning of the video, it still didn't work. So it was actually on the contactor side. Um, rookie mistake, I guess. Um, but she's up and running. She's cooling. Thank God all those components... We're properly installed now. Um, but again, I just want to say thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. Um, Big Daddy, Mark Cotter, shout out. Commenters. I think I said uh, Anthony Electric and Hugh the other day. My man EB, my man E. They know who they are. Eric and Ed. What up, guys? Thanks for watching.